Imagine a world long before humans, where giants roamed the earth. This is the story of one such giant, the Megatherium. The name itself hints at its massive size, mega meaning large and therium meaning beast. And a beast it was, a giant ground sloth that dwarfed its modern day relatives. Megatherium lived millions of years ago during the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs. Its stomping grounds were the vast landscapes of South America, from the lush, humid pampas to the cooler regions further south. Picture a land teeming with unusual creatures, where saber-toothed cats stalked through tall grasses and giant armadillos lumbered across the plains. This was the world Megatherium called home. These weren't the slow-moving tree dwellers we associate with sloths today. Megatherium, though massive, was surprisingly mobile traversing its domain in search of food and perhaps even companionship. It was a remarkable creature, a testament to nature's power and diversity in a time vastly different from our own. Just how big was Megatherium? Imagine an animal that dwarfed even the largest land mammals alive today. Standing on its hind legs, Megatherium could reach a towering height of up to 4 meters, taller than a double-decker bus. To put that into perspective, consider the African bush elephant, the largest land animal today. An adult male elephant might reach a shoulder height of 3.3 meters, making Megatherium a full meter taller. In terms of weight, Megatherium was a true heavyweight, tipping the scales at an estimated 4 to 8 tons. That's heavier than some species of elephants. Despite its imposing size, however, Megatherium was an herbivore, a gentle giant content to graze on the abundant vegetation of its time. Its massive size was a testament to its evolutionary success, allowing it to reach high into trees for food and deter potential predators. Megatherium was built for strength and power, its massive body supported by a robust skeleton. Its bones were thick and sturdy, capable of supporting its enormous weight. The most striking features of Megatherium were its powerful limbs, particularly its hind legs. These were much larger and more robust than its forelimbs, giving it a somewhat bear-like stance. Its tail was another impressive feature, long and muscular, acting as a counterbalance to its heavy body. This tail also provided stability when the sloth reared up on its hind legs to reach for food or ward off predators. Its pelvis, too, was massive and powerfully built, anchoring the strong muscles that powered its hind legs. But the most fascinating aspects of its anatomy were its long claws and even longer tongue. Its forelimbs, though smaller than its hind limbs, ended in large curved claws. These claws, some reaching over a foot in length, were formidable tools for gathering food and for defense. And then, there was its tongue, which could extend to an astonishing length, allowing it to strip leaves and branches from a distance. Despite its size, Megatherium was capable of movement, though not at the speed of a cheetah. Its gait was slow and deliberate, relying on its powerful hind limbs and sturdy tail for balance. Those long claws, while excellent for defense and gathering food, made walking on all fours a bit of a challenge. Instead of placing its feet flat on the ground, Megatherium likely walked on the sides of its feet, its claws curving inward. This unique way of walking left behind distinctive footprints, providing paleontologists with valuable clues about its locomotion. While it may not have been the swiftest of creatures, Megatherium's slow and steady approach to life served it well. It could cover considerable distances in search of food, and its size alone was often enough to deter potential predators. Megatherium was a herbivore, its massive size demanding a diet rich in vegetation. Imagine this colossal creature lumbering through ancient forests, its long claws reaching up to pull down branches laden with leaves. Its long prehensile tongue would come into play, stripping the leaves from the branches with remarkable efficiency. While leaves likely formed the bulk of its diet, Megatherium was not a picky eater. It would have also grazed on grasses and other low-lying vegetation, its strong jaws and teeth grinding down tough plant matter. Its digestive system was well equipped to handle such a fibrous diet. Like modern-day sloths, Megatherium possessed a multi-chambered stomach that housed specialized bacteria aiding in the breakdown of tough plant cellulose. Even giants face threats, and Megatherium was no exception. Living alongside this gentle giant were fearsome predators, Creatures like Smilodon, the saber-toothed cat, with its iconic elongated fangs. These predators were agile and powerful, posing a potential threat to even a creature as large as Megatherium. 
But Megatherium was not defenseless. Its sheer size was its first line of defense. Facing a predator, it could rear up on its hind legs, towering over its attacker, and delivering powerful blows with its massive claws. Its thick skin provided additional protection, making it difficult for predators to inflict serious injury. And its long claws, while primarily used for feeding, could also be used to deadly effect in close combat. Megatherium's reign as a giant of the Pleistocene eventually came to an end. Like many large mammals of the time, it vanished from the Earth around 10,000 years ago. The exact cause of its extinction remains a topic of debate among scientists, but factors like climate change and the arrival of humans in the Americas likely played a role. Though Megatherium is gone, its legacy lives on. Its fossilized remains, discovered across South America, provide invaluable insights into a bygone era. By studying these fossils, scientists can piece together the story of Megatherium's life, its behavior, and its interactions with other creatures of its time. Megatherium's story is a reminder of the incredible diversity of life that has existed on Earth and the powerful forces that have shaped its course. It teaches us about adaptation, evolution, and the delicate balance of ecosystems. And while we may never know exactly why this gentle giant vanished, its memory continues to inspire awe and wonder at the sheer scale and majesty of the prehistoric world.